Now question number 3 number of children in 6 different classes are given below represent the data on a bar graph here number of classes and number of children were given in the tabular form in the a bit how would you choose a scale and in the b bit answer the following questions in the first part which class has the maximum number of children and the minimum and in the second part find the ratio of students of class 6 to the students of the class 8. Now let's move on to the solution. Here given the number of classes and number of children. Now let's start the solution with the A bit. Here in the A bit, let us first construct the bar graph by taking classes on x axis and the number of children on y axis. Start the scale at 0. Here in the tabular form, as the greatest value is 135 so end the scale at a greater than 135 that is end the scale at 160 use equal divisions that is increment of 20 let us take the scale that is 1 unit is equals to 20 children Here in the 5th class, there were 135 children. So plot a point between 120 and 140, that is 135. Now for class 6th, the number of children were 120. So locate the point at 120. And for class 7th, the number of children were 95. So locate the point between 80 and 100, that is 95. We get the point. 95 and for class 8 the number of children were 100 so locate the point at 100 for class 9 the number of children were 90 so locate the point between 80 and 100 for class 10th the number of children were 80 so locate the point at 80 here draw the columns of equal width with equal spacing between them and the heights corresponding to the number of children. So we get the bar graph with equal spacing and equal width between them as follows. So let's move on to the question. Here in the first part which class has the maximum number of children and the minimum. So by referring to the above bar graph the class 5th has the maximum number of children has the maximum number of children children which is equals to 135 by seeing the bar graph class 10th has the minimum number of children which is equals to 80 now second bit, he have asked us to find the ratio of the students of class 6 to the class 8. Now referring to the bar graph, here class 6 has a number of students as 120 and the class 8 has the number of students as 100. Moving to the solution, here ratio of the students of class 6 to the class 8 is equals to 120 by 100 which is equals to 6 by 5 is equals to 16 is to 5 